What is one staple almost all of us have in our house at all times? Rice. Today I'm gonna to share with you lots of recipes using rice. You can make them totally different, totally different flavor profiles. That way you have lots of options for lots of different dinners. Hey y'all, I'm Mandy and this is Mandy in the Making. Through the years I have shared many different rice recipes and some of them are our family favorites and I share them over and over again here on my channel. So I thought I would combine those all into one video. So I'm gonna share some older recipes that I've shared before, but I'm also gonna share some new recipes today. To get started, we're going with a brand new recipe to me. I've made a garlic Parmesan orzo before and it was great, but we're gonna do a garlic Parmesan rice today. This is only gonna take about 30 minutes total. And while I am working on that, Steven is going to get these beautiful ribeyes on the grill. So I've got this medium saucepan here. I'm going to heat it to about medium heat. Actually, let me turn it this way. There we go. This is one of those double eyes, so you can do the smaller portion or the larger portion. I've got four tablespoons of butter. We're just gonna let that melt. While that starts to melt, the only chopping I need to do is to chop up this parsley. That is completely melted, so let's add in our garlic. We need five cloves of garlic minced. I'm using the pre-minced stuff, but you could definitely use fresh. And we're just gonna cook this on this medium heat for two or three minutes. Okay, we definitely don't want our garlic to burn, and mine isn't, but it's been going for about two minutes. It's very fragrant. So let's add in one cup of uncooked long grain white rice, and we just wanna get it good and coated in this garlic butter. Now it's time to actually cook our rice, so let's add in just a little bit of salt and pepper. And I'm gonna be adding one cup of chicken broth. You could do just one cup of water if you wanted to, and one cup of milk. Now I'm gonna crank the heat up just a little bit. We need to bring this mixture to a bowl. So we'll give it just a few minutes, and then once it comes to a bowl, of course, we will reduce it to low and cover it. And this is gonna cook on low for about 20 minutes. Okay, it has been 20 minutes. I just removed it from the heat. Let's just stir it around and see. Oh yeah, that is creamy. Look at that. So now, while it's still nice and hot, we're gonna add in about a half a cup of freshly shredded Parmesan cheese. Stir that around and let it melt. I'm also gonna add in about a tablespoon of some fresh parsley. We'll reserve a little bit for the top as well. You could add some spinach here too if you wanted to, if you wanna sneak some more veggies in. Okay, I'm gonna put the lid back on this and let that Parmesan cheese melt down. Over here, little girl. Hey, Parmesan cheese. Yes, please. Let's get into some of this rice here. Mm -hmm. This creamy garlic Parmesan rice. That's right. Man, that is so good. Is it? Creamy Parmesan garlic flavor. Mm-hmm. Wow. I mean, it's coming through. Oh, good. Oh, yeah. Okay. Some heavy hitting flavors right there. Awesome. It's gonna pair well with this steak, I just know it. Mm. This is the perfect dinner. I realize we should probably have some greens, but I mean, there's parsley in there, there's <laughs> some green in there, right? This rice is so flavorful, y'all, give it a try. Hands down, one of our favorite ways to make rice is my mom's recipe for brown rice. It's not just regular brown rice, you'll see. I say it's my mama's brown rice, but it was really her mama's brown rice. It's been in my family for a minute, I've shown it before, it is so easy. Let me flip you around and show you. So this is everything you need for the brown rice. Obviously we're using white rice, but it turns brown when you cook it in French onion soup and beef consomme. If you can't find beef consomme, you can use beef broth, but I'm just gonna get a cup of rice. I'm gonna rinse it, put it in here, pour these two in there, cover it with aluminum foil and put it in the oven at 350 for 50 to 60 minutes. That's it. Another Mexican style rice that we love, it's so light and bright, is cilantro lime rice. Okay, I need one cup of jasmine rice, two cups of water, let's go put this on the stove. Okay, we're gonna bring two cups of water to a bowl. This has come up to a bowl, so let's add in our cup of rice. I'm also gonna add in about three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. Let's go ahead and stir that around. And lastly, it calls for one bay leaf. My bay leaves are really small, so I'm gonna add two. We're gonna let that come back up to a boil, which it already is. Then we're gonna reduce the heat. We're gonna put the lid on it and let it simmer for 15 minutes. While that is cooking on the stove, let's go ahead and prep the rest of our ingredients, which is not a lot. 
We just need one tablespoon of finely chopped cilantro. We also need a couple of teaspoons of fresh lemon juice and a tablespoon of fresh lime juice. And the thing that shocked me the most was that you need a teaspoon of orange juice. All right, that's it. So we'll just wait on the rice to be done. I've got some olive oil here that we'll be adding as well. It's been 15 minutes. I'm gonna turn the eye off and I'm gonna leave it covered, but I'm gonna remove it from the heat and let it sit for another five minutes. Let's remove our bay leaves and I'm just going to stir this to fluff it up. It seems like it's the perfect consistency. The recipe calls for one tablespoon of canola oil. I don't have any, so we're just gonna use olive oil. We're gonna add in our cilantro. Lastly, we're gonna add in our juices. I've got orange juice, lime juice, and lemon juice. That's it, y'all. It does not get any easier. Let's give this a taste. This is our first time trying this exact recipe and I'm pretty excited about it. It sounds really light and refreshing. This is a lemon herb rice. Okay, the only thing I really need to do is zest about half of this lemon. Mmm, lemon, herbs. Uh-huh, because mm -hmm. it's called lemon herb rice. Lemon herb rice. Or herb lemon rice. I don't guess it really matters yeah, which way you say it. It's gonna be very bright and citrusy and mm -hmm. yummy. Now, what would Cole say? Uh, he probably said something like, it's going to be taste good. It's going to be taste good. <laughs> okay, he doesn't talk like that anymore. But when he was little, he said, ooh, that's going to be taste good. <laughs> in my medium saucepan, I'm going to add in a cup of rice. I did rinse this really well. I'm just using regular long grain white rice. The recipe that I found uses basmati rice, which I do like, but we don't have any right now, so... Next, we're gonna add in a tablespoon of butter. If you have coconut oil, you could use a tablespoon of coconut oil. Our lemon zest, our herbs, and our salt. I've got a quarter teaspoon of salt and then a teaspoon each of both basil and oregano. And you'll need two cups of stock. I'm using chicken stock, you could use vegetable stock. We're gonna cover this and bring it to a bowl. This has come up to a bowl. So, I'm gonna reduce the heat down to about low, maybe just a little above low. And we're gonna let this simmer for about 15 to 18 minutes. My timer just went off, so I'm gonna turn the heat off. We're gonna let it sit off of the heat for five to 10 minutes, and then we're gonna add some lemon juice. Now what we're gonna do is just add in that half a lemon that we zested. We're gonna add in the juice of that half lemon. Then we're just gonna stir it all up, and then it's gonna be time to eat. How about a spoon? A spoon? <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Hold on, let me show them this. Show them. My lemon felt. <laughs> it was so cute, and then I tilted it too much. We'll try that again. Okay, we're gonna try our um, mm -hmm. lemon herb Some rice. Fancy rice. All right, cheers. Cheers. Oh, I love that. That's amazing how those ingredients change the flavor of the rice. Mm -hmm. like, 10 out of 10. <laughs> that is really good. Yeah. I mean, that that's got to be really easy to make. All you did was what, put some lemon juice in there, some... Lemon zest, some lemon herbs, zest. a little bit of butter, chicken stock. That's it. Oh. I cooked it in chicken stock, too. Mm -hmm. Ah. I see what you did there. Mm -hmm. Extra flavor, extra yeah. flavor. You got to make this. Mm. So they're gonna eat this whole thing? That's mine. <laughs> I'll just take the pot. Take the pot. <laughs> when I was talking with Steven about making this video, he said, don't forget the dirty rice recipe. I haven't made it in quite some time, but it made a lasting impression on him. He was just talking about it the other day. So let me share that one with you. I've got five Italian sausages. I'm just going to slice this and remove the casing just so that all of the spices and the goodness really gets into the dish. We're using Italian sausages, the mild. You could definitely use the spicy, or you could even use chorizo if that's what you wanted to do. I'm gonna put this large skillet on medium high heat. So our pan is up to temperature. I'm gonna add some EVOO. Add in our onion. I'm just sauteing these until they get pretty soft, like three or four minutes, and then we're gonna add in our bell pepper. Now we're gonna add in our three cloves of sliced garlic. Now I'm just gonna tear up my sausage and add it in. I've added in my salt and pepper to taste, and now I'm gonna add in one heaping teaspoon of paprika. We're gonna add in a cup of white rice. We're gonna saute this for like 30 seconds. All right, this has been sauteing. Now we're gonna add some white wine, and we're gonna add in maybe around a half a cup or so. We really want to get all of the good bits off the bottom. 
and then cook it out. The alcohol is cooked out, we're gonna add in two cups of chicken stock. You wanna bring this up to a boil and then turn it down and let it simmer for about 12 to 15 minutes. Now that it's come to a boil, I'm going to turn it down to about medium low and put a lid on here and let it cook for about 15 minutes. Now that it's done, we're gonna add in our onion and tomato and parsley. Anytime we make any type of Mexican or Tex-Mex meal, one of our favorite ways to make the rice to go along with it is just making a, an easy Mexican rice. Let me show you. I've got this saucepan. I'm gonna put just a little bit of oil in the bottom of it. We've got it heating to medium high heat. I'm gonna add our cup of rice and we're gonna cook it until it's translucent in the heat, or in the heat, <laughs> in the oil. Now that we have these, this rice looking pretty translucent, we're gonna add in all the rest of our ingredients. I've got a cup and a half of chicken broth, eight ounces of tomato sauce, a teaspoon of garlic salt, a half a teaspoon of cumin, and a teaspoon of chili powder. We're gonna bring this up to a boil and then I'll reduce it down and put a lid on it and we'll let it simmer for 25 minutes. Like a burrito bowl. It is like a burrito bowl. What is mm. this? Oh, oh. <sighs> Touchdown. Mm. Good? Oh yeah. Oh man, that is really good. So there you go, there's six new ways to make rice a little more interesting in your house. If there's a rice recipe that you love that you would love to send to me, please feel free to do that. Down in the description box below, I have a Google form link for Subby Supper. Send me a rice that you love. If you love this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, I'd love for you to join my YouTube family. Hit that red subscribe button before you go. Thanks y'all, and I'll see you next time. Bye.